Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. Now, in this video, we're going to cover only the daily uh, challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some atoms, as uh, nothing has changed in the Atomic Shop. You know, I've paused these uh, videos ever since uh, the Atomic Shop has given us only the stuff on Tuesday and nothing throughout the week for the past, what was that, two, three weeks? So, a couple of days ago, we we have voted on our discord if, or if I should resume the notification videos on a daily basis even if there's nothing new at the atomic shop and we voted yes uh, this vote wasn't for a very long time because uh, if the results are, are like this then most probably that's what everybody wants right so a couple of hours and I made a decision to return the notification videos also just in case I've also created in our Fallout 76 uh, section chat the daily and weekly challenges which uh, from now on I'm gonna start dropping screenshots over there so you will know what you'll need to do in order to make those atoms plus this will help us when the seasons comes because you will have to do a lot of challenges to get that score that will unlock the season whatever I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work right now but we'll wait and see what's gonna happen when it comes because definitely I'll be notifying you on how to do these and so on and so forth so let's start wasting time jump right into the show shall we All right, so let's take a look on what we got on the menu today. So today, challenges. We've got uh, build floors, walls, roofs, and workshop or camp. Poof. Ten atoms, super easy. Kills uh, rat scorpions and savage divine. I hate this one, man. It's so bad. Like it, it, this one's gonna make you do a lot of server hops. I'll show you uh, two locations where you can look. Actually, I'll just show you one because that's the best one. If you get uh, scorpions appearing there twice, you will do the challenge, get your uh, 20 atoms. Kill legendary enemy, definitely you'll find one because, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but since Wastelanders DLC has been released, there's a whole bunch of legendaries all over the damn place. One stars, two stars, three stars that give one stars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure if you go do one run in White Springs or West Egg, you'll get yourself a legendary enemy. So then we've got level up while, and if you complete any of the following sub challenges over here, you'll get additional 10 atoms. So there's two ways of completing this. Uh, the first one is uh, level up once and complete three of them at the same time, or level up three times and com complete one at a time. Uh, I would definitely recommend level up once and complete three at the same time. So that is level up while engaged in PvP, while naked in a group, yielding a proto sign. Uh, on Deathclaw Island uh, at the water park on level 30, wearing fast night mask. By the way, if you don't know where to get one, it's in. Uh... Oh wait, we had the fast night event, by the way. <laughs> so pretty much a lot of people have uh, those masks. But in case if you don't have it, I'll show you where you can get one. It's in Port the Pines. Then we go to the uh, while wearing responder gear. Then uh, Flatwoods or Actors Pharma while under level 20 and level 76 or higher so what i'm gonna do is level 76 or higher responders gear and fast dash mask yeah that's three so i'm gonna have to change my looks right now all right bam <clears throat> okay nuclear winter use uh nine stim packs get yourself perk cards i'm actually starting to do the nuclear winters uh challenges as well this one ain't that easy but doable so why not then, uh, scrub junk to produce screws, so you pick up fans, pick up typing machines, and you'll get it done. So, let's begin. Let's start with this one right here, that's the easiest one. So, what I would, would do, usually uh, I do it by capturing workshops and just uh, put my, uh, <coughs> uh, my pre-default prepared fort that I put all the time at the workshops. But in this one, let's uh, find something and build something <clears throat> 10 times. How about, well, not 10 times. This is the best way to do it. Just build, scrap, build. Uh. Seriously? And of course, you can do that with anything, right? So there we go. Wait, something is wrong. I did this challenge yesterday and it worked. What the hell? 
Wait, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Hold up. Build anything in the workshop. Ah! Cockroach game, man! <laughs> right now I'm being so stupid, huh? <laughs> Alright, so I decided to do it through workshop so I don't have to build and scrap a lot of things. So as I said, I actually confused this one with the previous event, with the one we had yesterday, build anything. Are you serious? I ain't got aluminium? Oh my god, okay, I got this thing. Man, I gotta grind some aluminium. Well, the other reason why I decided to come to specifically to this location is because once you fast travel, right, uh, the fast travel point over there, you appear over there. There are these tents over here, and especially in this one, you've got the tapping machines. So there you go, one, two, and three. So they give uh, screws. So where are they? There they are. So they give one screw per, so that's three. And we gotta find two more fans or something like that, and we will get our challenge completed. <laughs> Alright, now let's talk about the Kill Red Scorpion Savage Divine. So, 20 atoms. Uh, worth the grind, but you will need to go to the middle mountain cabins. Now, over here, you can, if you're lucky, you will get three scorpions appearing. Watch out for the traps. So, but not always scorpions appear. We got honey beast and yogwai bears. So, essentially, on this server, on my server, I will need to server hop until I'm gonna get. Um, <clears throat> the red scorpions basically so if you want to get this challenge done and get 20 atoms you'll need to do a little bit of server hopping a lot of people know this location by the way so definitely expect to see a lot of dead bodies and prepare to do a lot of uh, server hopping <laughs> oh man well while we're here what I want to check out is do they have any fans Alright, so once you fast travel White, White Springs, right now we're gonna finish up the screws and maybe, uh, if we're lucky, also get ourselves a legendary. By the way, uh, over here, tip, tip, real quick tip, in case if you have diseases, I'm not sure if you already know about this, but there's this secret fountain that can cure your diseases. So, you drink from here and goodbye your disease. Whatever disease you have, it will clear them all. So, <clears throat> nice acid. Uh, I know the building where you can find uh, some toys and stuff. Over here you can find some uh, desk fans, by the way, so you might want to stop over here. And in case of... Come on, where is the legendary? Choof. Choo choo. Uh, okay, it's not this one. It's next section. Next section, we get our screws. So if we turn left over here... We'll get our screws. And there's our legendary! Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Kinda daddy, kinda daddy. Uh, boom. There we go. Kinda daddy, 20 atoms. Super easy. Oh, wait, that was a three star. Let's check what we got. Well, first, we take that thing and uh, plus the things that we already uh, loaded from the workshop that I've captured. Uh, those three typing machines and there we go another typing machine by the way this one gives way more uh, screws than uh, the other ones so if I open it up and show you it by the way uh, if my f memory doesn't fail me there are two of these uh, Carl's Lissile typing machines so the second one is located in uh, okay it's better to actually uh, go ahead and jump over there so let's see what we got. We got junk like always. And one star! <laughs> Why am I not surprised? As I said, it's so easy to find legendaries, even three stars, but they always, always give you that stupid one star drop. Man, which pretty much sucks. So the other, that big typing machine that gives you more screws than the usual one is located in this room right here right there so there we go so if we already got those two machines that's already four screws right if you come right to this area over here oh another three star how much you wanna bet I got a one star yo I'm telling you I got a one star yo man what's up this is not left for dead game man let's go oh I actually got a three star hey hey and there we go, a desk fan right here. So, bam, we already completed this challenge tw 
twice if I'm not mistaken. So afterwards, uh, the scrapping machine, by the way I think there's one here but whatever the case is, we go to that building right over there and there's definitely some scrap 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 thingy. So right here, bam, there's a couple of them, you go bam, and done. Screws. I was supposed to get more, but anyway. Alright, so, now, what do we have left? We have the leveling up left, and, well, for that you need responder, uh, responder outfits. I have one uh, in my stash. Uh, the fireman. By the way, I think the police uniform also counts as a uh, responder. I'm not 100% sure, but you can find it in Point Pleasant. That's uh, definitely... And, uh, well, there's a whole bunch of outfits, to be honest. Uh, let me check if I have any of mine. Hmm. I think I, I got rid of my fire one, didn't I? Yeah, I actually uh, got rid of mine. So I really hope that this is going to work. I'm going to test it out. Uh, here's the police uniform. It's always here. And the location is, as I said, Point Pleasant. So, bam. It's right here. So once you, if you fast travel to this location, you will end up running through that bridge over there. So once you run, you run through this door, turn, and the building is right here. By the way, this place is loaded with cultists now and not scorched. So it's a good place to farm some more... Uh, weapons armor uh, for mods plus they give stem packs as well so it's a good place so basically then you just run up over here like this guy got to me right come here turn turn and the police uniform is right there I'm actually gonna turn it on right now now let's go get the fast ma fast snatch man mask Alright, so as I said, you need to go to the Fort Defiance, get inside, uh, then what do you do? You run here, if, I hope my memory doesn't fail me, I, last time I did this was probably 2018 or starting of uh, 2019. I was under 1000 subscribers when I reviewed this outfit. And what the hell? Get, oh, I hate this game sometimes, man. Oh, I'm not even going to cut this out to bring those smiles on your faces. <laughs> oh, so as I said, <laughs> oh man, run here, here, then you turn here, you turn left, oh right, go up one floor, then you go straight, left, and it should be somewhere here. There it is. Bam. And you can get a straight jacket if you want. There's a lot of these ones over here as well. And a lot of asylum uh, uniforms as well. Actually, I'm going to pick up those asylum uniforms for the other challenges that we need to do. So if you just uh, search around, you'll find the hat. Uh, maybe I need to go on the other floor. Ah, oh, there we go. We found the first component. And another one. And now we just got to find the uniform as well. And I'm and I'm gonna keep those items for the next challenge. So, ah, there we go. <laughs> Sweet. So uh, once you come to pick up the fast snatch man mask, make sure to pick up this thing and this outfit right here. Uh, usually we get also challenges uh, level up while wearing asylum uniform and hat. So get yourself prepared for the upcoming daily challenges. Alright Zeke and everybody else, this is going to be the end for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Now in terms of the police uniform, as I said, I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but I'm going to give it a try level up and see if it works, but it should work as it is sort of responder, no, I don't know. Uh, I haven't done these challenges to be honest for quite a, some time now, but if you're a new player uh, and you've been following the main storyline, at the very start you get the paramedic in Flatwoods outfit so that one definitely counts as uh, the responder gear then you get if you've uh, gotten all the way to one of these mines I don't remember which, which exactly where they give you a fireman outfit that also that outfit counts unfortunately I lost mine or I scripted it by mistake or something like that oh well it happens but anyway 
Zeke Lane and everybody else, you all know the drill. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. And nobody see them, I see them, I read them, and I delete them. So if you want replies to your comments, make sure not to drop any F-bombs in your comments. And uh, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z-Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. I saw hi from Ukraine. We've grown to 4,945 Z-Clan members. Feel free to join our active Discord community, but please read the rules uh, because we do ban uh, people there for not following the rules, like toxic people or you know those who love spamming or dropping a lot of air bombs or you know that sort of stuff. The rules are simple: keep a pro, respect your Nana. And you're good. So after, once you've read the rules, navigate to the get started uh, section uh, and click Z sign that you accept uh, the rules. You will get access to the general chats. Click the platform that you're playing on so it will be easier for you to team up with uh, someone from your platform and select the games that you're playing uh, such as Fallout 76, Elder Scrolls Online, Warzone, Division 2 and DayZ is coming soon. So these are going to be the five games on our uh, Discord channel. And obviously, if you, for, for any reason, decide to stop playing Fallout 76, for example, and you want to get rid of that ch uh, chat section, unclick uh, the icon and that section will disappear. If you want it back, just click it again and it will come back. I made it uh, in such a way so it's easy use for you guys for Discord, especially I know a lot of Z Clan members have joined never used Discord before, so I'm, I try to make it as, as easy as possible. Anyway, this is where I'm going to start. Stop talking, I'm pretty sure this video is going to turn out to be a longer one again, although it should be simple, small, small, but, <laughs> oh well, what can I say? <laughs> I'm being me, I'm being Z. <laughs> Alright folks, you all have a good morning, day and night, whatever you guys look at, and I'll see you later. Bye. From the...